Hi everybody, it's Mark again. Uh, here we're going to talk about the new uh, Indiana Jones box sets uh, that just came out. The uh, stuff on the uh, video here will be uh, showcased uh, from the new box set and what was shown on the uh, original 2008 box set with the extra music and so forth. Um, we're trying to see about uh, trying to see about uh, what the difference are and everything, the covers, uh, the disc cut labels, the covers on that, uh, and different styles of the, uh, uh, and, and my thoughts on which is better and which is worse. Um, so hold on and we'll get right to the action. Thanks. Okay, so here are the two box sets. The one from 2008 on the right is the one with the Raiders, Temple of Doom, Last Crusade, King of the Crystal Skull. The bonus disc, which has some tracks not available on the um, current set that just came out. What do we have here? We have Raiders March, uh, interviews with uh, John William Steven Spielberg and George Lucas, uncovering the Ark from Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indy and the Villagers, The Secret Passage, Father's Study, Marcus is Captured to Berlin, To the Blimp, the blimp turns around. Death of Kazim, or Kazim, uh, wrong, uh, wrong choice, right choice, and Return to the Village Raiders March. Uh, these were all previously unreleased, not part of the uh, the uh, original Raiders uh, from what was it? Um, seed, uh, seed. CDC or is it CCD or DCC? That's what it was. DCC. Um, that was, uh, they had some uh, good music there. They should have been able to add that onto this other disc or at least done it with this disc set here. Um, now with the new uh, di uh, CD box set, we have, uh, well, I'm, we're listening to Raiders off of this one, but it does have a, little um, picture book it's a uh, fold out uh, not really much you know it's got the original not long ago in a country, far away, blah, blah, blah. And we have read this before on other books, uh, audio uh, type things that they came out with. Uh, this is from April of 1981. So it's nothing new, just the backgrounds and, you know, so forth. Um, kind, of, kind of similar to what they did with the uh, uh, Dial of Destiny uh, soundtrack. So you got just the fold out uh, showing who played on the album or if you want to call it that, the uh, soundtrack. And so we got the front disc and then the back with all the names and so forth. Uh, each disc has the original from the sets from the uh, 2008. Uh, there is the exact same you know, exact same stuff. So it's nothing really new uh, other than, oops, other than the, uh, these boxes being more cardboard on the original 2008 and having a nice picture of whatever, you know, we were looking for arc stones. Um, now on the temple of doom here, you can just barely make out, uh, you can see in uh, here, you see a figure. real faint um i can't even really make it out oh it's indy and uh uh Mola ram fighting on the uh on the uh bridge if i can get it without getting a glare on it here see there, there they are kind of lackluster i mean it would have been nice to just have the print of the picture there but i think they were trying to keep it close to the um 
Dial of Destiny. Um, the little booklet here. Get it to fold out here. Spielberg uh, again. And we've got Willie. The songs, who played the orchestra, violin, and so forth. Uh, Mola Ram on a two. Indy. On the Last Crusade, we have, uh, looks like Indy on the little bridge going into the uh, Grail hideout, I guess you call it. Another Steven Spielberg. comment you got the songs who played what Elsa Grail Knight Henry Dad River Phoenix Marcus so I mean they got it's a nice little you know booklet but uh, to me i you know i would have liked to have a nice little extra some music composed by you know john williams extra like they did on the other one and then kingdom of the crystal skull i'm sure is the got uh let's see what we here we got uh, i don't see nothing on kingdom of the crystal skull so if it's there, it is so faint, I just can't see it. Kind of like the uh, Dial of Destiny. It just doesn't have anything on there, you know. Now, these are still available. They're still, still showing up on the uh, Disney Music Emporium websites. Uh, they are $149.99. Uh, Sitting there pretty tight, huh? So we've got uh, Indian Mutt, Spalco, surrounded by people, motorcycle. Another Spielberg commentary. And those who haven't seen the Dial of Destiny. Now I'm trying to see. Yeah, there's nothing on that one. Same thing as Scheme with Crystal Skull. No little hidden picture in there. Um, let me get this out of here. So, got Dial of Destiny. Indie. Bowler, Helena, Helena, uh, uh, orchestra. So that's pretty much it on that. Uh, and then James Mangle says his uh, comments on the soundtrack. 
Um, I was hoping maybe they would have thrown in something decent with the uh, soundtrack, you know, like maybe in, when you play it on the DVD or 4K, but all I'm getting is just the regular little um, music notes here on the, on the Blu-ray. So I figured maybe that they'd throw, throw a cover on there or anything, but uh, nope. Uh, the box set, uh, the box is just a box, and it's got a little picture of the idol there. Um, it would have been nice to have a little see-through top on it that would light it up if you had it in there, but they could have, well, they still have room. They could have put the stones and the grail in there too, but um, so, I mean, all in all, it's uh, nice to have something that's a little different. Uh, has all the soundtracks in it. Uh, I'm sure the eBayers are going to be jumping on these and selling them for a couple of hundred dollars, uh, depending on how long these are available. Um, if Disney's smart, they'll have them in their parks so people can buy them there. Um, but uh, I don't know. It's just uh, hopefully I would think that, you know, because, I mean, this was, I think, $49 when this came out for the uh, 2008. It also came with a book, a lot of behind-the-scenes photos. And then this is, like I said, from the 2008 box set. So it was a little less. Uh, Concord put it out. Uh, you got a little extra. So, I mean, this the Concord, um, by rights... I think is far superior than this uh, Disney version. And like I said, here's the disc. You know, you got your cup. You've got your arc. You've got a Shivalinga stone being held by the shaman. And then Kingdom Crystal, you have the skull. And each of those uh, came out with little booklets. So you got a little booklet with the skull, the titles of the songs, and then basically just poster art. Each one of that came out, so, and I'm sure this is the same um, narration that they had for the, or the editorial that they had on each of the other discs. Slides right in there and you're all set. So. <clears throat> Like I said, I do like these type of cases because, uh, each, like I said, each one has a book. It just kind of gives it more of an, an album feel. Um, I mean, they've done it with Star Wars where they've had them and re redone in the album format uh, to make it look like the old album. Okay, so that's it on the uh, box sets. I uh, hope this was informative. Um, like I said, the the uh, new box set is a little bit pricey. Uh, doesn't have any extras, just the soundtracks. Uh, they're in cases, uh, uh, like not like the original uh, 2008 version that came out with the um, cardboard uh, to make it feel like a, an album. Um, but uh, they're they're both okay, you know, in, in a, a collector standpoint. So I'm hoping that. Disney keeps these out for a while, not uh, like Concord had it and just out for a little bit. Maybe their license was only for a couple of years. Um, but um, yeah, so yeah, if you get a chance, uh, pick it up. If you know if it's a little pricey, uh, you know it's not much different than what's out there right now on the uh, uh, streaming services. So, alrighty, uh, I guess I'll talk to you soon. Bye.